as I begin this video, uh, it's not with bated breath. Uh, I'm not walking on eggshells uh, or trying to be overly cautious because this is the world that we live in today. I'll say this, and those of you who know me and who have followed my material over the years and who know me, period, uh, outside of this platform and other platforms here on the internet, uh, you already know who I am and what I stand for and represent. I love everybody. I don't care about your race, color, religion, or your sexual preference. I have my views, my viewpoints, and I would hope that I'm speaking right now to intelligent human beings, male, female, and uh, whatever your beliefs are, your beliefs systems, is what they are. What I'm telling you by virtue of what was asked of me and uh, it has to do with uh, whether or not I would accept my son or my male child coming to me telling me that they wanted a, a sex change. They no longer wanted to be a male. They wanted to be a female. Would I consent to that? Would I give him an attaboy or uh, do what you do and uh, that's your life kind of speech? My answer would be no, they would not have my consent. Would I love them less? No. That's my child. I love them as my child. I love them from a humanitarian standpoint as well and from a godly love. I will not condemn them because I don't have a heaven or hell to put anyone in. I don't. But I do understand. And I do understand also, ladies and gentlemen, that there's things that we don't know. A lot of us, no matter what our stance is in life, oftentimes we don't know what we don't know. We don't know the innermost workings of another person's mind and heart always, even though we've been taught and programmed or uh, are trained to believe a certain way in certain things. We don't know everything about life. There are some things to us that are actually mysteries. They really are because we lack information and we have not experienced cert certain things in life. So, I say that to say this again. I believe that when you're born, when a child comes forth out of uh, his or her mother's womb, there's a doctor there in most instances. He or she is going to say, you have a healthy baby boy. Or you have a healthy baby girl. Right there is where we distinguished and made the determination that it was a boy, a male child, or a girl, a female child. Now, at some point, in the development of those two children or sexes as it were particularly with the male which is what this subject is about right now briefly uh, if I have a male child who tells me at some point that he wants to be female he doesn't feel comfortable in his body and he doesn't think that that's what he really is even though his uh, biology says otherwise I won't consent to that. I'm not going to punish him uh, physically, uh, cast him away and put him in, in a dungeon somewhere. I'm not going to do that. But I would hope that I would live, would have lived a certain life before him in the very beginning of his development. You know, so he doesn't want to make that decision down the road. But if peradventure that were to come to bear, he would not have my consent. Because if he's physically, uh, if his physiology, his biology says that he's a man or, or a male, then that's what he is. And you can't change that which you are in that respect. That was really it. It's really simple. 
the answer. Uh, I would hope that I made that perfectly clear to anyone that's watching me right now. And uh, if you happen to be from the LGBT community, I'm not saying anything to you to offend you, not willfully. And I'm not saying anything to you to uh, cast you all. Uh, I love all of you all. I have friends that are part of the LGBT community that are gay and lesbian and even trans. I have friends and I have had family members as well who were gay. So this is not new territory to me. You follow? We are all God's children. I'm sorry. Just because we don't all understand one another as long as we respect one another. That's really it and that's all. May the Most High continue to bless all of us on this planet. Uh, love one another. Okay. Have a wonderful day or evening wherever you may be. And give me your feedback. Tell me where you are. Keep it clean. Uh, be courteous of your brothers and sisters here on this platform. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.